Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we have a new sponsor on the channel, and that is WD, the makers of the WD MyCloud line of network attached storage devices. And what they're going to be having me do over the next couple of weeks or so uh, is focusing on some features that we haven't looked at before, as well as some new features. And we'll do a whole matrix of all of the available options because they just added a bunch of different drives to the product line. But today we're going to look at a brand new feature called Plex, which is a media server that we've covered in the past on the channel. So if you're not familiar with Plex, I've got a video linked above that you can go look at uh, to kind of get the whole scoop on exactly how Plex works. Because we're going to talk about it uh, a little bit, but this video might give you a better context if you haven't uh, played with it before. And Plex Media Server is now available on the WD MyCloud Mirror and Up. So basically everything but the single drive unit uh, will have the option to install Plex uh, right off the control panel. So what we're going to do is install it uh, on this drive here, the mirror. And I've also got it running on a DL2100 back there, which is a little bit more powerful of a device. So we'll look at uh, some of the performance of the Plex server in a few minutes too. But let's get into uh, the installation process. So the first thing I always uh, suggest doing before you get this going is uh, to create a new share just for Plex because we want to have a place maybe to organize our media for uh, the Plex server. You don't have to do this, but it just makes it a little bit easier, at least for me. I like to have my things nicely organized on my drive. So I'm going to create a new share here uh, called Plex. I'm just going to make it public for now, um, but you can, I believe, uh, assign some uh, usage rights to it so you can keep people out that you don't want to have in there, at least on the NAS side, and they can connect in through Plex if they have access to that. So we created our uh, Plex uh, uh, directory here. If I scroll over to the right, uh, we've got our app section, and this is where we find the app. And all you have to do is just click on this little plus icon here. You'll get a whole bunch of different things that you can install on your drive. So if you weren't aware of this, you have a lot of different uh, little web server kind of apps that you can put on your MyCloud device. And in this case, we're going to uh, click on the Plex server and click install. And we're going to let that go through and do its thing. It's going to download the server and install it on the device. Now, if you have uh, one of the newer devices, the EX or the DL line, uh, your screen's going to look slightly different, but everything is in the same place. So what you're going to do for uh, Plex on this device is just scroll to the right like we did before, uh, go over to your uh, add button here, and you'll see the Plex media server. It's not on this one right now because I already have it installed. So that is why uh, you don't see it on the list of available options. Now, while you're waiting for the Plex media server to install on your MyCloud, what I would suggest you do is go over to Plex.tv and set up a free account there because Plex is a different company than WD. So you have to have a separate account to use Plex even though you're on your MyCloud logged in through WD's interface. So go on to Plex.tv, set up your free account, and then when you're done, your MyCloud will likely be done installing the Plex media server. You'll know it's done because you'll see it on the list of available applications. Uh, this is the MyCloud mirror. The EX2 will look very similar to this as well as the EX4. Uh, the newer devices, the EX and the DL lines, uh, will have this uh, white background, but uh, everything will look the same and you'll see the Plex media server over there. So the next step uh, is to go and click the configure button. And what this is going to do is load up a separate web page. So we're kind of leaving the WD interface and going over uh, to the Plex interface. And that server though is running on your MyCloud. It's just uh, running in a different uh, interface. Now when you first get in here, this is going to be really Spartan because there's a couple of things that we have to set up in order to get our media library built. Uh, the first thing I'm going to suggest you do is go over to settings and go over to the server list here because there's a couple of things that we should set up on here to get uh, everything working properly. Uh, the first, of course, is to get our Plex server connected to our Plex account. So if you created that Plex account before, uh, this is where you're going to want to put in that information, which I'm going to do right now, and connect my server on here up to the Plex cloud so when I get into my devices, I can actually see what's going on. So we have myself uh, logged in right now. I've got my uh, friendly name, so when I'm on another device, I'll know exactly what I'm connecting to here. And we'll also see that remote access is accessible. So now uh, the Plex server is talking uh, to our server on the WD MyCloud. So we have everything functioning there. And you'll see now that I have a whole bunch of other things popping up here. So my media center, that's my Plex server that runs in my basement uh, where all my media is stored. So I can uh, go ahead and access that from the MyCloud if I want. Uh, this is the WD MyCloud DL2100 that is right behind me right there. I was playing around with this earlier on that. And then we have the mirror, which we just set up. Now you'll notice that uh, these other ones have these little channels underneath their playlist, but this one doesn't have one at all. So right now, if I were to connect uh, with my iPad or my iPhone, I wouldn't be able to play anything off of here because we haven't yet set up a channel. Uh, so to set up a channel, this is a very important thing you need to do. Uh, you just click on the plus icon here. And what this is going to do is bring down an add library option. Now, they're asking you what type of media you plan to put into this library. You can have a bunch of them. So as you saw on my 
other server. I've got a whole bunch of different uh, channels running on that device. So uh, the reason why they separate this out is because they have some intelligence to this. So if you, let's, let's say you upload some music uh, from maybe from a CD that you own or something, it will go out to a Plex uh, service and download all the information about those tracks. So you get all the, you know, the length of the track, you get the artist, maybe some ar album art as well. It brings all that stuff in for you automatically and that's free uh, with this version of Plex. So you don't have to pay for the premium services for that. Uh, likewise, in movies and TV shows, it'll also do uh, a similar thing. What I'm gonna do though is create a home movie version here because these are things that I've created myself which are not going to have that metadata. And we'll just call it home movies, which is the default. Now this part's gonna get a little scary because uh, what's going to happen here when I click on the browse for media is I'm going to get into something that looks very, very foreign. We're not usually seeing all this stuff uh, when we're in the MyCloud interface, but you should know that these devices are little servers. They're Linux computers running a server operating system, and uh, Plex is kind of operating outside the WD interface, and what it's going to do is give you all this stuff here, and you may not know where to look for that folder we created. So what you're going to want to do is just scroll down and look for the folder called shares. It's going to be right off this root thing here. So you make sure root selected, uh, go all the way down to shares, and then what you're gonna see uh, is the folder that we created here. So you should see here all of your MyCloud shares that you have accessible to people on your network. And we're just gonna go click on Plex, which was what we created before, and click add. And now that directory, after we click add library, uh, will become part of our channel. So if I go back to the home uh, button here, you'll now see we have home videos selected there. Now you notice we don't have anything in there at the moment, so I'm just gonna run over to uh, the MyCloud app. You could also uh, transfer files over your network the same way. I have that Plex file set up uh, right here, the folder, and I'm just going to drag this uh, weekly wrap-up video into there and uh, let that copy over. All right, so on my iPad now, we see all the different channels that we had accessible to us on our uh, MyCloud screen earlier because this iPad is also signed into my Plex account. Now, if I go to the WD MyCloud mirror, you can see there's nothing in here right now. And the reason is, is that that library didn't update by itself. Uh, so the way to fix that is just to go over to uh, the update library button here, and that will go out and check that directory and see if there's any new videos that uh, it may have missed before. And sure enough, there is our weekly wrap-up video and now it's accessible there. All right, we'll go back to the iPad now. I'll click on My Cloud Mirror, and you'll see now that that video is there. I did test this out before I started recording this take. I'll just go play from the beginning. Uh, it does keep a bookmark of uh, the movies that you're watching. So if you watch something on your phone and got halfway through it, when you go to your iPad later, it'll pick up where uh, you left off. And as you can see, this video on my local network uh, came up very, very quickly, and I was able to watch it. Now, one thing to keep in mind if you're a serious Plex user is you're probably familiar with the transcoding feature of Plex, which is that if it has a video that can't play back on the iPad, it will convert it in real time so it can, and that's one of the best features of Plex. The problem you're going to run into on the MyCloud Mirror in particular is that because it's running with a slower processor, uh, that transcoding activity won't really be as useful. In fact, it doesn't work very well at all on the older devices. Uh, the newer devices do better, but uh, huge movies, I tried like a Blu-ray MKV earlier uh, on the DL2100. It took about two or three minutes for it to actually start playing the movie because it takes some time for it to kind of buffer up uh, its transcoding before it pushes it out to the device. So these are not going to be as fast as PCs uh, by any stretch because these are you know, essentially file servers. So they do very well serving the media files directly when uh, the device can play it back like I can on my iPad here. So if you have uh, movie files that are really tuned to play back on a device like this natively, it's not gonna need to do any of that transcoding uh, and things should work fine. But what's been uh, really neat though is trying out uh, my cell phone here. I'm actually not on my local network and just on the cellular network. And we're gonna connect to that DL2100 behind me. And this is that same video file that I couldn't get to play back at all from the mirror. Uh, it will be able to do so on here. It does take a second for things to uh, spin up here, but uh, once it gets going, it will be able to play that video file back. So it kind of buffers up here for a second, and now we're able to play back that compressed video that it's making smaller to fit on the cellular network. So uh, it will work with transcoding on some of the higher end devices, but again, it won't be uh, as good as your PC might. So that is the Plex server app running on the WD MyCloud. It is available right now if you've got a two or four drive MyCloud unit. So it's available on everything but the single drive MyCloud and it is uh, ready to install. Click on it and you'll be up and running. It provides a lot of nice flexibility. I do recommend though, if you're going to uh, be watching a lot of movies that require a lot of transcoding that you probably still wanna have a PC for that. Uh, but you can use the MyCloud as storage. Uh, do check out my longer video on Plex because I really go into detail about how all the mechanics of this can work. But generally for an in-home streaming solution, uh, even the MyCloud mirror here will do just fine with 
uh, video files that are in like the 1080p MPEG-4 format. You shouldn't have uh, any real issues there. I want to thank WD for their sponsorship, and I hope you'll join me in thanking them as well in the comments below. This is Lon Sybin. Thanks for watching.